Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to start off a new series, a new video series called uh, Creating Better Patches. Um, this goes along with my blog at Reason101.net and um, essentially uh, what I thought I'd start off by doing is taking a patch that was created by Chris Petty called the Hoover Patch and you can hear it here. <laughs> So this patch uh, was created um, using three multi-oscillators and uh, there's a little bit going on with the LFOs and the mod envelopes that are affecting the, um, the detuned amount and the pitch amount for all the oscillators. So I'm not going to go into how he created it, rather what I'd like to do is basically take his idea and show you a few ways that you can expand upon it um, and show you a few different things that you can do to maybe um, not necessarily improve on it, but just, you know, just take it to the next level. So um, with this patch, what I would start off by doing is you have this mod envelope here, uh, the attack and the decay and the release of the mod envelope that are affecting the oscillator pitch for all three oscillators. And the pitch is going upward by an amount of 62. Uh, for all these oscillators. So what that does is it sends the pitch upward. So the easy thing that we can do is we can set up a button and um, what I'll do is I'll just take the minus 100 amount and set that to be scaled by button 1 and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Scale this by button 1 and then I'm going to take the same mod envelope setting um, and I'm going to affect oscillator 3 pitch and same thing over here I'm going to take the mod envelope and I'm going to have it affect oscillator 1 pitch and oscillator 2 pitch except this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the amounts I'm going to change the amounts going down by the same amount down by 62 there down by 62 here alright that's 63 62 And then what I'm going to do on the scale amount is I'm going to increase it by 100 and I'm going to still use button 1. And what that does is it creates a complete reversal on button 1. So what this is doing is this is reversing the pitch. And we have a simple button that we can use. So when, you, when the button's off, you're going to hear the normal upward pitch. And when the button is on, you're going to hear the reverse of that. Now the mod envelope is still affecting the, um, the pitch, so what we can do is we can use the rotary to affect how the mod envelope works. And we will call this ramp direction. So that's essentially what's happening to the pitch. So um, to change this, um, all we need to do is have uh, one setting here. Well, we'll do two modulations. We're going to take the, let me see, what are we going to do? We're going to take rotary one, and we are going to increase the attack. So mod envelope attack, and we're going to decrease the mod envelope decay and I'm gonna actually turn it up a little bit and move this down just a little bit to start so let's hear how that sounds let's try Okay, so that's a couple of different things that you can do with the rotary and the button over here. Um, one thing I'm going to do, use the mod wheel um, to change the mixer balance between the first two oscillators. So in order to do that, we just need to have one setting over here. Um, I'm going to take this LFO2 over here, 
and I'm going to have that affect the mixer oscillator 1 and 2 balance and let's just ramp this up to 100 and also let's ramp this up to 100 and have it scaled by the mod wheel so when the mod wheel is up it's going to be affecting the balance and that mixer balance there between 1 and 2 is going to be um, dictated by the LFO 2 that's essentially what's going on. So if we listen to it, that's not bad, except we can change the rate as well. But why don't we do this? Why don't we change the rate um, by an actual rotary? So let's take rotary 2. And we will increase the rate of LFO2. So when the mod wheel is up, in order to give somebody, some people that are going to use this a little um, help in figuring out what's going on, what we can do is we can say um, mod wheel or m wheel rate. And that's what this rotary is going to be. And then finally, what I like is the chorus is nice, but if we turn can turn the chorus off, still sounds pretty good. So let's create a simple switch on button two that will affect the chorus, um, that will turn it on or off. So start off with the bass setting, which is going to be to have your chorus off. And then you want to have this button uh, turn the dry wet knob all the way up. So to do that, just take button two and have this turn the chorus dry wet amount all the way up to 100. And that's all you need to do. And then this becomes your chorus. probably turn the range down to about seven. So that's perfect fifth. It goes up a perfect fifth. And it goes down a perfect fifth. And in that way, we've just added a few different variations on the Hoover patch. And very easy to do. There's This is just um, a couple of ideas that I had when I was watching Chris Petty go through his motions on his patch. Of course, this is not, um, this is not the end-all be-all. I mean, there's a ton of other things you could probably do with this. Um, you can also play around with the frequency um, of the, of the low-pass filter here. Um, you can play around with the with the gain. You can uh, attach the LFO to the gain to bring the levels up and down. Um, there's all kinds of other things you can do with it. But these are just some of the ideas I had. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, come back and visit me again when I continue this series, and I'll have a couple of other ideas for patch creation and for sound design um, in the uh, next couple of days. So thanks for watching. I'm Rob. Come visit me at reason101.net.